Fusel, I don't know if you're good on illusions, but I, I think it's pretty good against uh, the bristle back. Fusel's very good against the bristle back in a decent place right now. He probably just values. Uh, oh, that smoke. B9 is going to be the one that pops it, but Coasted B lay there. They drop the uh, telekinesis. Man, they just got so much damage. You are going to be able to find that kill very easily. The question is if Costa Bila can get out. They just have Tombstone level 1 up on the high ground. Slowed him in place. Yarin has to run as well. He's just getting beat to death by these things. It's three kills. The tower range in this lane now. Like, just not even realizing it. I just, like, walk forward to try and, like, see something. And I'm like, oh, I'm just getting hit by the tower. Very cool. Yeah. He is going to get the Jingu stacks, though, so... He did let him build up the four, and Yaren tried to go for the tower last, or for the tombstone, and is just gonna die. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Underestimated how. I... Yeah. This is like a huge wind up, could we? Yeah. Ooh. Does find Undying. Luki trying to get away here, getting aggressive. They should be able to bring down the Undying. Raindrop's absolutely saving him for a moment. Boundless Strike does come through, does a decent amount of damage, but 30% damage reduction protecting Luki. But it does expire. He goes down to the neutral. Okay. Pretty uh, nicely done there. As uh, curious why that stun didn't come off a little bit earlier, but they had it handled. They ended up cutting the tree down on him as well. Because we just gotta he's be got careful, a, uh, actually. For this one. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna get the shackle plus an acorn shot. Is he just dead? He oh, is! Oh my again. god. All right, Coast of Melee just got super gamed on. That is Didn't a... Be in the dodge with that mischief either. It's out last second with the swashbuckle, so once again, yep. Luki will survive. Or rather, not right. die to... Uh, gamer move alert, by the way. Yarin, he took his uh, self out of his backpack. Ooh. Ended up losing here. We're about to lose Stonemake down the bottom lane as well. Continue, though. Lone Druid is about... Eh, almost 400 net worth ahead and is just... Constantly putting pressure on the tower. Rayla Lisa doesn't have much to work with at the moment. No. Ooh, smoke top, though. Sea Freak's coming in. They want to try and find the kill here on Luki before he hits the level six. Shield crash into the telekinesis, pulls him back, bound the strike on the money. They are teeping in B9 for this. Swashbuckle comes through. A lot of damage done back on over to Costa Bile, but it's not enough. To Next to the ward, gets ran down here by the Hellbear Smasher, and Telekinesis is there. They are going to TP in Yarn here on the Hoodwink, but a two here about the strike into the RP, right on the money. And Stonebank, he's got these tombstones just building up on him, and he does not have the damage alone to deal with this. So Costa Bile will find the second kill, and four Zoomers with another really successful rotation to work with. Mm -hmm. They have Skewer as well, so they just might use it here if they try to come in forward onto them. Yep, Telekinesis, there's gonna be the Golem as well. Gunner going forward on the bear to zone them out. Ends up baiting out the Chain Frost, basically. But Ray Lisa, super tank. Uh, Moo, wait a minute. I don't think that's exactly what you wanted. Game is, oh yeah. Maybe a slight slip of the mouse there. Sometimes uh, you just go a little bit too far. <laughs> you still have RP to work with. This is not the best hero to commit oh, on. Oh, has Chain Frost stolen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, <laughs> Luki. Not what you want to see. B9 digs up a bounty rune in his dying breath there. They will be able to snipe on him dying here, however. Nicely done by them. Stolen Chaos Bolt will stun up the Chaos Knight for the moment. Again, he's trying to do what damage he can, but Z Freak, that haste, sir, keep him alive just for the moment. We'll be able to make a little bit of space. Stonebake just slowed down so much by the zombies. Has no way out of this. Z Freak. <laughs> Helping find the bottom lane. Bristle back and then uh, try to shove mid, but Wu, he's pulling him back into his team. Oh, yeah, that's a bad one. Wukong's command comes out as well. Ray Lalisa trying to make the distance, but it's not going to happen. Costa Bile finds the kill, and yeah, that is a real. And Husky, he's got his uh, his drums. He's going to be banging these. You end up getting full eight charges again. Oh, as as they found Ray Lisa as well. They managed to just take down B9 inside the base, but Ray Lisa just slowed down Savage Roar just to continuously hold him in place. And now Yarin on the way to an early grave, I would say. Underneath the tower makes it even more difficult for them to hold their ground. It's going to walk right back up here. No frost shield available. The bear's going to make quick work of this. 
Oh, Tokenesis into a skewer. Found by Z Freak once again. Luki goes for the Rolling Thunder, but getting canceled by a Boundless Strike. Stone Bank on the backside tries to get the initiation onto Husky. He will be able to dodge an out that RP not doing a ton. He only catches the illusions, but Gunner here just doesn't seem to care all that much, it seems. They just gonna skewer out. Oh, Andrew, look what he's flying out right now. <laughs> I don't see it. Hold on. We'll see in a moment. Is it a, is it a moon shard? It's four Wraith Bands. I freaking called it. Yep. All right. There it is. <laughs> GG comes out and Zoomers will take game one. They know no yeah. way back into this game. Yeah. Not a chance. I mean, I was concerned about what happened for four Zoomers if they didn't win the laning phase, but they end up winning these lanes uh, super hard. Maybe Luki solved Underlord. Dude, I've I don't been know. watching enough of his stream lately. When are they going to fix the actual tooltips? in the game. It's getting a little bit annoying. Bottom lane, Shaman. Falling very low. Z Freak trying to stand his ground here and help set up a kill here for the Tiny. He's got a tree toss after it. He's going to use it to grab first blood. Yep. Oh, bottom lane. Looks like Luki should... Oh, he's not nope. getting out of that one. That is an ultimate from the Wraith... Uh, from the Wrath of Nature. And they also managed to find the Shadow Shaman. Pops a stick, so he will end up barely surviving there on the Shadow Shaman, but... The, the teleport scroll, but I think he knew that he was just going to be heading back to the mid lane anyway. He didn't want to be getting in the lanes after he left. Undying gets gone on. Yeah, just gets held down by the ensnare. And meanwhile, a hasted clockwork comes in as well. So they get themselves that quick kill. Also, going to try and bring down Z Freak down here as well. Looks like they're about to lose Luki. Yeah, they didn't actually have vision of him as he was hiding in just the perfect spot. He will go ahead and drop the Kongs onto the Underlord. And. It's not easy to get out of those cogs, but he still manages to do so. The avalanche plus the, yeah, life strike array is just too much and move. <laughs> Sonic wave for that one either. You don't have a ton of mana on the Queen of Pain anyways at the moment, so. Do this, uh, they took advantage of that rotation down the bottom. In mid lane, looks like Yarn's about to go down to Husky. Yep, nothing you can do. Hmm. We're looking to make a play down here. In the bottom lane as well, Luki pushing super far forward because they realized so many people were at the top, but this TP Moo down here. Mm, nice Hex. Has the Shackles to follow it up, but guess what? It's Gunner once again showing up here on the Nature's Prophet. Doing work. They are going to go ahead and be able to TP out here. Unable to cancel that on the uh, Underlord, but still get the kill there. Yeah, and he's going to pay for this one with his life. Yep, TP from Gunner. He's just going for the body blocks here with the tree ends. Pretty successful into the Sprout. Light Strike Array as well. And from downtown Moo dunks on him. Gunner pretty low though. Sonic Wave already committed. Stone Bank rotating out on the backside, but just got slapped by this Wrath of Nature. And there's a quick toss. They get the reincarnation. The zombie, or I'm sorry, the skeletons from Stone Bank actually doing a lot of work here as they find the kill onto the Lina. And now Moo has to get out of here. Avalanche will make the space and Gunner TP's home. They're all the skeletons. Yeah, they do find him though. And Underlord's coming in. Pops the Dark Rift. He's like, hey buddy, you can take this. But instead he's just Gets zoned off completely thanks to the power cogs, and now Yarin just gets caught by a Laguna Blade, trying to run away here on the Underlord. Looks like he should be able to make it unless Gunner can. It's like it's like Io's reload if you didn't have an Io. Man, Wrath of Nature hater, comes man. out. They do manage to find B9. He gets a nice tombstone up onto the high ground. Turn the attention on over to Yarin. Gonna prevent him from being able to get those shackles. B9 does get the D ward at the end of the day. But they will just now go ahead and turn their attention to finishing off the tombstone with recently but it is quite large almost 8,000 here Luki just happens to cross paths with him in the jungle is gonna regret that one here pretty desperately and yeah you know you clear up the illusions but another uh, meanwhile in the triangle right they find undying as well Ooh, hookshot just off the mark stone bank's not gonna go down Ray Lisa behind the tower doesn't have blink for a few seconds drops the sonic wave able to get himself a little bit of space blink oh Z freak snipes him perfectly Meanwhile, they're still chasing Stone Bank. Dark Rift yeah, into the tree. Sneaky, sneaky. And he walks away. All right. But Clockwork's been found. Nice tombstone there to slow up these heroes. Will they actually be able to do anything is the question. It's not looking that good. They just turned their attention. They're going to go down that tombstone. Moo, though, comes in way too far. Ends up finally going down. Gunner slapped as well. But they get the Song of the Siren just at the last second. Gunner will be able to TP home. And he's got a teleportation back into this at the end. Yarin trying to get out of here one. They aren't going to be able to do it, though. Wraith being held in place by the ensnare. 
And they're gonna fall one by one. Double kill for Gunnar here on the Nagas, or on the Nagas, on the Nature's Prophet. And the trees, they do they find Yarin. Vision. He's not gonna be able to finish him off. Yeah. After they didn't have tons of AoE clear or ability to take team fights, they don't have a great recovery post landing phase should they lose them anyways. Oh boy. Ray Lisa mid lane. Tree toss to 50 HP, but in comes Gunner. He gets caught by the Wraith Fire Blast and Stonebank right next to him as well. He's trapped himself, but a nice ensnare onto the Wraith King. Underlord able to close the gap. Gunner's gonna get away with this, and they GG out instantly. They couldn't finish off anybody. 16 minute victory right now for four Zoomers. 12k net worth advantage, 26 to three. This was an absolutely insane beatdown. It barely feels like we've started the day. We're only an hour and 25 minutes in since we started here, Ricky, and already a 2 0 for the side of four Zoomers. Right.